Hello crazy coders, today we will make an email slicer using python with help of its uh, string slicing ability and uh, the, what this program will do is it will ask email as an input it will separate the username and the domain from that email and it will print it out as we know that uh, do, uh, email consists of username and domain and an add character which add sign character which separates them so that's going to be the logic of our program so let's start coding i've already created a new python file and named it email slicer.py and i'm going to create a variable in email and ask for the input like enter email and after uh, asking for the input what i will do is i will create a variable in username and i will slice uh, from the input which is a string uh, all the characters before the add sign character so for that uh, i will use slicing and you know slicing is similar to accessing but rather you are accessing in range so in that range you have to provide in, in square brackets and you have to pass two things in square bracket that is uh, one start index and the end index with colon as a separator now if we don't pass the start index it will assume it at from the start and the end index for the username will be that character before the add sign character so now we have to calculate the add sign index of add sign character so for that i will use dot index function uh, let me write it and i will pass it add sign so what this will do is uh, it will return the index of this add sign character from this uh, string so yeah now whatever you pass here it will uh, return that index uh, so that's great and as we know that the sec end index is not inclusive that's why uh, it works and uh, now i will create a variable named domain which will all the characters after the add sign character that's why in slicing i will use the same uh, location of the index but this time I will be doing plus one. So now I will, uh, I will do plus one because as you know the start index is inclusive and don't want to include this add sign character in the domain. That's why plus one and end index I will keep it empty because if you keep end index empty then it will assume uh, it will assume that you have, you want it till the last character of the original string. So now what this will do is it will from first character to the character before add sign character and it will assign it to your username and in the domain section uh, what it will do it will slice it from the character after the add sign character to the last character and it will store in domain now i can print it uh, with an f string so username uh, is in curly brackets username and domain will be domain will be as i said domain variable now we are done with this program so let's check for the output so i uh, let me enter my email so yeah it separated uh, my username and domain so that was it from this video. Thank you for watching and we will catch you up in the next one.